Hi, my name is Chris Jarantusky, and I've had the distinct honor of working at the Chicago Botanic Garden for nearly 40 years, starting not long after the garden opened to the public. Since then, in an amazingly short time, these 385 acres have grown into one of the leading botanic gardens in the world, with 26 expertly crafted display gardens, four natural areas, and, for the last two years in a row, more than one million visitors annually. The garden brings to Chicago and the world more than the Chicago Horticultural Society originally envisioned. Education flourishes here as our programs teach people of all ages, from toddlers to PhD candidates, about the power of plants. In April 2015, ground was broken on the Regenstein Foundation Learning Campus, an exciting new home for all of our classes, programs, and partnerships to come together under one roof. Our horticultural therapy programs reach deep into the Chicago community to help people of all ages and abilities, including veterans and those who live with physical, developmental, and age-related challenges to lead healthy, happy, and satisfying lives. Our urban agriculture program, Windy City Harvest, brings plant-based jobs training and mentoring programs to at-risk teens and hard-to-employ adults. At urban farm sites, they amazingly grow over 100,000 pounds of produce annually, and the job skills learned have changed their lives. Globally, the 200-plus scientists based at our Daniel F. and Ada L. Rice Plant Conservation Science Center collaborate with academic, governmental, and corporate partners to study and conserve the world's most valuable resource, its plants. Their work is the future for us all. And always, there are the plants. People visit the garden to be wowed by the plants, to take pictures of, and to learn about them. The power of plants brings people here to celebrate and to mourn, to relax and to feel better, and especially to spend the day enjoying one of the most gorgeous places on earth. Thank you for supporting your Chicago Botanic Garden.